Uh, my grandpa Dodge was uh, one of the wealthier men in Schuyler County, and he had 12 kids. Seemed like everybody had a dozen kids back in those days. And he was uh, considered one of the one of the wealthiest men, but he was also one of the most honest. If he told you something, whatever he told you was for sure. And if he made a deal with you, you shook your hand and you didn't have to write it down. You never had to worry about it. It was a done deal. And um, he, was, uh, he, was a big, he was a big man. The Dodges were all real big. Uh, I think he was 6'4 or something like that. And uh, uh, the Dodges didn't think you were very big unless you touched both sides of the doors going through. He had great big guys with big white shoulders. Anyway, uh, Grandpa had a tree fall on him. They were logging when he was in his 60s. And, uh, and they said, well, we're going to have to operate on you. And he said, well, if you're going to operate, just cut my throat and we'll be done with it. And uh, they didn't. He was kind of hunched over after that. But he lived through it and lived for another number of years. That kind of gives you some idea of what our family's been like. Uh, uh, Grandpa Dodge died without a, without a will, and he had 12 kids and a second wife. And the kids and the wife got to fighting over the money, and the only ones who got any money out of it were the, uh, uh, the lawyers. <laughs> so that's the way it went. Anyway,